traditionally decided. Second, it's a contest between the incumbent Tories who have a 5,800 majority over Labour. Now, Labour have a disastrous record in by-elections. In 50 years and 215 tries, they've only managed to gain 18 seats. But a poll to be published tomorrow in Dudley West puts them 45 points ahead, and confidentially, I reckon they're in with a chance. Yes, folks, with less than a week to go before polling day, the heat is on for this jewel in the political crown of the West Midlands. Graham Postles is a Tory who is, to say the least of it, up against it. His technique? To avoid mentioning the government at all. We are fighting on local issues, but we are making the national issues relevant to the local people. But with the Heritage Secretary, Stephen Dorrell, in town, he has found one national policy he can rely on to pull in the punters. Uh, I put out a release about the National Lottery. I think that's a very good example of a policy that's successful and popular and it w has, will have direct application here in Dublin. Over at the Lib Dems, things aren't going too smoothly. Even old hands like Lady Sear are having a hard time. If we don't get... Technology's not my strong It's working, is it? The Liberal candidate was beating their normal drum. The emphasis on public transport, and to give it a local perspective... Local issues? There's a novel idea. The Labour Party's Ian Pearson was being visited by education spokesman David Blunkett, an opportunity for tricky questions about party policy. Um, um, I support party policy on, on, on Grant Maintained Schools. But the by-election has yet to catch voters' imaginations. There are more for-sale signs in the streets of Dudley than campaign posters. And as Edwina Curry discovered on an early evening walkabout with Graham Postles, not everyone in town is even sure what's going on. Uh, I'm asking for people's support next Thursday with their votes to go and represent you all in Parliament in Westminster. Did you see, see these rosettes? That's ours. And other people wear different colours. Thank you, Edwina. That needed to be said. In Dudley West, however, politicians happen to monopoly on hot air. This local glass blower is giving some to each of the candidates in the form of a specially blown festive bauble. But the way things are going, only Labour will treat it as a prize. For the others, it'll just be a reminder of a pretty miserable three weeks in Dudley. There are ten candidates standing in the Dudley West by-election. And that's about it.